Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jimmy here with One Road on YouTube. Today, we're gonna to be working on my 1995 GMC Suburban, and we're gonna be replacing the thermostat. I just picked up a brand new original equipment AC Delco thermostat. This is 195 degree temperature. There's the model numbers and everything in case you guys are wondering. I'll also put a link down in the description below this video for this exact product. So here's the problem I've been having. I'll start my truck up and I'll drive it around, whether it's short distances or long, and it seems like the temperature gauge never really gets up into the normal zone. It's always very, very cold. My suspicion is, is that the thermostat is stuck open, thereby not allowing the motor to properly heat up before the thermostat opens and allows the antifreeze to start flowing. Today, I'm gonna test that theory by replacing that thermostat. All right, in case any of you guys don't know, the thermostat is located just underneath this housing here, which is where this upper radiator hose connects to. So the first order of business is going to be re to remove the nuts here. We got one on this side and we have one down here. This is my tool of choice. I got a 14 millimeter deep socket. This seems to get me uh, the angles that I need in order to get to this nut without having to take off the air cleaner. Okay, so we have the top nut removed and you can see there's some uh, wiring ends that we have to remove also. And then you can see just under that wiring, we have another nut, which is where the deep socket comes into play. Boy, that bolt was a little bugger. This thing was rusted up. I thought I broke it because it, it didn't uh, slowly come loose. It just kind of broke loose quickly and I thought I possibly snapped the bolt, but um, nope, doesn't look like it. Now as a side note here, um, I went over to Harbor Freight and I picked up this tool and it is a clamp for the radiator hose. I'm not sure if this is gonna work at all or well. Um, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a try just to clamp off that upper radiator hose and see if I can minimize the amount of spilt antifreeze. All right, so I have this thing kind of clamp down to a certain distance, it's opened up. That way when it clamps down, it's going to be somewhat shut. I'm gonna have to squeeze this around the radiator hose and uh, I guess hope for the best. I haven't drained any uh, antifreeze out of here. I just hope this doesn't hurt the radiator hose making me have to buy a new one. Okay, there we go. And I see some antifreeze flowing. Okay, this is my attempt to minimize. Okay, got it off. Let me get this out of the way. So there's the situation. You can see the old thermostat sitting in there. You can see also that there is no uh, gasket for the thermostat housing. The gasket is actually the black rubber piece that sits on the outside of that thermostat. All right, looks like we got her out. That is what she looks like, guys. So another trick is going to be getting this ru old rubber gasket out of here, I guess, dang it. That sucks. Okay, so I think I figured out a way to get this old thermostat gasket out of there. You can see I got my screwdriver dug in behind it. And what I've been doing is just kind of pushing back behind it and uh, it is coming loose. There we go. There we go, baby. Well, I got the uh, surface pretty clean. I used a wire brush and also a piece of sandpaper and was able just to kind of work at it and get it clean. Here we have the new unit. Let's take this sucker out. That's it guys. This is the new uh, AC Delco original equipment thermostat. And just for comparison purposes, I do want to point out this does say 
USA on it, made in the USA, that's good. This one also says USA on it. The construction on these seems to be pretty much identical. Um, this has to be original to the car. I don't think that it's ever been changed. The way this works is you just literally drop it in, just like that. And the thing fits like an absolute glove. That's it. All that's left to do is to reverse the process of putting the housing back on. Because the intake manifold and that thermostat housing are aluminum, I'm gonna go ahead and put some aluminum anti-seize lubricant on the bolts that go into that housing. And I did go ahead and clean up with a wire brush the threads on this bolt. Now I got my Harbor Freight uh, $10 torque wrench here, but these things get excellent reviews. You guys gotta look that up. So the spec from the uh, Chilton manual says that I need to torque these bolts down to 21 foot-pounds for the 5.7 liter. But before I torque this bolt down, I'm going to tighten the other one down just a little bit so I get an even torque. Tightening the other one down. Oh, that already torqued out, I think. No? Nope. So remember, this is aluminum. You don't want to go too tight. I would definitely recommend sticking with the manufacturer's uh, specifications which is 21 pound-feet of torque, like I said. Well, everything is back together at this point. I've also dried up a little bit of the antifreeze that was around in the valleys there of the intake manifold, and I've reattached the wiring for grounding, and uh, I think this job is done. Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys know changing the thermostat out on your car usually isn't that big of a deal. This one in particular is very easy to get to, so I did not have a problem with that. The biggest things you have to worry about are just managing the spilled uh, antifreeze that come out and also making sure you can get those bolts out and back in and torque down to the right specs. In this case, I did not have to use a paper uh, gasket that goes in between the thermostat housing and the intake manifold. The actual thermostat itself had a rubber gasket around it. I guess the only thing left to do is to take this thing out on a test drive and make sure that the truck warms up like it should. All right guys, it is now the next day. Um, I haven't been able to drive the truck and test it out, but I'm going to um, start this thing up and check for leaks. And then we're gonna take it on a test drive and see if the, uh, if the temperature gauge acts like normal. You can see the uh, thermostat housing down there. So far, nothing has opened up, so that's good. All right, guys, I wish I would have been able to film this, but um, we actually did get up to temperature. The needle went right up to about almost the 210 mark there, and then as soon as it hit that, it shot back down, which means the thermostat opened up right at 195 degrees like it's supposed to, and uh, now it's just hovering pretty much right about there. So that's really good because I've only been driving for a few minutes, and uh, the truck has had a little bit of time to warm up and exactly like the way it should. This is the exact behavior that I was not getting before I replaced this thermostat. So this seems to have fixed my problem and I am super stoked right now. <laughs> All right, guys, don't you just love it when you fix something and it actually works? I'm really, really happy about this. If this video helped you guys, I'd love it if you could hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also if you subscribe or if you are already subscribed, there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you wanna be notified about when I upload new videos, you've gotta make sure you hit that bell icon. All right, this is pretty sweet. Now that means in the dead of winter when it's 20 degrees outside, my truck will actually warm up and I'll actually have heat again. Wow, awesome. Something so simple as a $6 thermostat. Man, I should have replaced that a long time ago. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.